what, what had the one last time like, talk to you guys about over Christmas year? Just how big this is from, from a regional standpoint. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm from PA, so I'm not really from yeah. here, but I would assume it would have a lot of, you know, recruiting and type of implications, like a team, Maryland, we right on the border of Maryland and Virginia and West Virginia, you know, state, two states away. So it should have some big implications. And just, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I know you just asked, uh, asked this question, but just uh, what does it mean to you personally to have fans come back in the stands um, this weekend? Personally, for me, it's you get back to the energy. Like, it's, it's the part of the game that you love. Like, a lot of people don't understand what we do on Saturday is just a small percentage of what everybody gets to see. And it's, it's good to see all the hard work pay off. Does leading up to week don't feel different compared to last, last year? Yeah, because you um, not as much film to watch. So we, you know, watching their games from last year, watching their spring game, but it's a lot different when you know playing the game and you have, playing the team and you can watch three or four games from this season. So it's, it's definitely different. I just want to ask, what, how do you get in the zone for a game? What is like your free game routine like? Pretty regular. Just I, I always have my headphones and I'm a music type of guy. Just listen to whatever my favorite rapper is at the time. I like to get out there early, get warmed up pretty early. And pretty much it. I don't do nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, what, what rapper do you listen to? The rappers I listen to? Yeah. I, I like uh, Lil Uzi, Lil Dirk. Uh, I like Lil Baby a little bit too, but probably those three at the top. Right now. I got asked for you a Kanye fan. I am. I, I just like Kanye fan. I don't know if I, I didn't listen to this last time. Oh, you didn't? So how good is it? I heard it was really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's good. It's and and good. then they I, dropped I, it, I, and then he didn't want to drop that. I, I like it, yeah. personally. Um, a lot of it's been getting a lot of mixed reviews, but personally, I, I recommend it. Um, there's a few songs I think will get you hyped before the game, but yeah, you get a chance. It's like it's almost two hours long. I'm not gonna lie. Damn. Yeah. No, I, 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 I always <laughs> been a fan of Kanye musically. Sometimes you're from PA, not really a, a Maryland guy. Who was your favorite team, if you could say, growing up? You're more a college or a pro fan? NFL, yeah, NFL Eagles, obviously. Like that's that's who I grew up like from Andy Reid to Chip Kelly to you know Doug Peterson and all that. So mm -hmm. that's who I've been rooting. I didn't really have a favorite college football team growing up. Good, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> I didn't have uh, a so you you're wearing the 18 jersey? Huh? What number are you? 18. 18. Yeah. Is there anything behind being 18? It's not one thing. I think uh, when I picked that jersey, I think it was freshman year of high school. That happened to be my graduating uh, year, and that's the year I also came to Maryland, 2018. And then growing up, my favorite quarterback was Peyton Manning. So I think all three of those things in com combination. Huh. Uh, Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox, for sure. Okay. Favorite <laughs> game? Uh... I like Call of Duty, I like Apex, Apex Legends, if you even know what that is. Um, probably those two, probably my top two. GTA as well. i, I got to ask you a football question. I hate to break this up. Uh, what do you think of your defensive backfield this year? To, to us, uh, from the media, you seem to have an actual group of stars in that backfield. Does it seem that way to you? I don't consider myself like I, I I don't I can't the media looks at us a little different. I just look at a group of guys that's really talented and really can be a top tier group in the nation and that's what I think that's what we're striving for. I don't think about it any more or less than that. It's just a group of guys that's really talented and, and we're ready to put in the work too. All right. Well when we spoke to Tarheeb still a couple of weeks ago. You start to realize with Banks and, and Still, and, and you got three back there. You got 18. I mean, you, you're it's probably a pretty loaded group. So maybe one day, 10 years from now, I'll be asking some other kid. You remember the years that you know, Jordan Mosley played? As we wrap up here with Jordan Mosley, it's been a while since the fans have gotten out here. You spoke about that briefly. What? When you look at the entire situation of everything that's happened with Loxley and you guys over the past few years, what's it mean to have a real season coming up on the books here? Uh, for me, being a senior, yeah. it means everything. Like this, is probably this is going to be my last year, like mm -hmm. here most likely. I don't mm -hmm. know. I'm not going to speak on that, but. Yeah. Just having the ability to play a full 12 games and said nothing get uh, delayed or pushed back because of COVID, it means a lot because I really get to showcase my talent and my teammates get to showcase their talent and 
and just you love this part of the game. This is the part of the game that I love, just going out there on Saturdays. And we can't wait to watch it. Jordan Mosley, thanks for being on Turp Talk, and go beat those Mountaineers. I appreciate you.